I was just woken up and I've uh, come out to the lounge room and there's this monster Chernobyl cockroach and I'm going to use the Dyson DC-35 uh, to nab it. It's crawling down the wall, I better be quick. Well there's a good look at that critter, look at it run. I better get that Dyson onto it or else it's going to take over the home. If you're not familiar with the Dyson vacuum cleaner, they've got a max button. I'm always vacuuming with the max button on and it'll show up and turn it on. I want the max. Okay, I'm going to have to be quick here. I'll move in a bit closer and I'll turn the vacuum cleaner on. The cockroach is sensing around what's going on. It's going to sense a bit of Dyson action soon, I hope. Here we go. And I have it. It's in the vacuum. Oh! What a spinning, spinning sensation. I'll capture some slow motion of that cockroach doing a spinner. Well, there is Mr. or Mrs. Cockroach. I've got a feeling they're still alive in there. You know, I could put an end to that, I think, by just doing a little bit more of this. Yeah. That button there has become my favourite one in the house. Well, my son has just woken up. Do you want to see the really big cockroach that Daddy just caught? Can you see it in there? Is it big or small? It's big. Big, very big. We call those Chernobyl cockroaches, don't we? Do you like cockroaches or do you like the spiders? Which one do you like? Spider. You like the spiders. We don't like cockroaches, do we? They're dirty. They're nasty. Oh, he's in there moving, isn't he? Well, let's get him out of the dust collection area and see what it looks like. Aren't you going to stick around? It's okay. He won't bite. Have you come back to see him come out of the Dyson? You're not going to be scared? I'll look after him. If he starts to run, I'll knock him out. Okay, here we go, getting out of this uh, machine. It's a bit hard to do single-handedly. Oh, other way, dummy. Gonna pull it down and out. Ooh, oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, so it's, they're nasty, these. Nasty and big. And normally those big spiders would be um, the thing that would come and clean these up. That's one nasty critter indeed. Looking a little bit shabby from the Dyson. Well, I've got my trusty knockoff Thomas and Friends ruler here. Let me measure up this Chernobyl cockroach. It's still kicking on and see how big it is. We're looking at about oh, just under three centimeters. I don't know what that is in Imperial. Um, someone out there will know. I haven't got an Imperial uh, ruler with me. But that's a nasty big one. And that, we want that sort of thing out of the house. I'm going to poke the cockroach of a ruler to see if he's still going. Oh, oh, is he alive? He's alive. You don't like those cockroaches, do you? No, you have another go? Be better check. Better check if he's got any vital stats. He is alive. He's alive, isn't he? Do you think we could fix that cockroach? No, huh? is he gone? He's dirty, isn't he? Yeah. 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 Bye, cockroach. We'll see you later. Well, this is the vacuum. It's the Dyson DC-35. I think there's a double-powered version of, of this thing here. It's a bigger version. This is a bit of an older model now. I've had it for nearly a year. It's been an excellent thing in the house. And I can come in and clean up Mr. Cartridge. Ah, oh, yes, my boy. Love playing with vacuum cleaner. Goodbye, Mr. Cartridge. See you later. Oh, let's have a flushing finale. Okay, let's do a slow motion flush. Bye bye, cockroach. See you later. This whole video was shot on an Apple iPhone 5S. 
The video hasn't been altered in any way, you're looking at the raw video. The iPhone 5S has an excellent little video camera in it, but I'm struggling to deal with the Apple company. Over the last year I have spent well over $10,000 purchasing Apple goodies. And at not one of my purchases did I ever receive any sort of discount or incentive to keep buying. They couldn't even throw in free Apple Care, even though I suggested this. Every purchase I made was done via the same account under my name and I paid the full Australian retail price. So I'm wondering, is Apple so flushed with success they've forgotten about how the customer feels? I'm old enough to remember when Apple nearly didn't exist and that was just before the time when Steve Jobs came in and saved the company. So I'm wondering, has anyone else out there purchased a lot of Apple gear and feel they had no reward for doing so? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching as always and bye for now.